Yo, I'm the trainer here today, so I'm back at here with another banger, guys. So today, guys, um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to put your soul protectors on. But instead of using a blow dryer, I'm gonna do it with a heat gun. It's 120 watts, and basically, it's way hotter than an actual blow dryer. So it's gonna get the job done even better. And I'm gonna show you the difference and the comparison from the blow dryer and the heat gun. Um, and basically, before we get into the video, guys, make sure to go follow me on my socials. I have them here on the side. And let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you the comparison right now. So these are my easies right here. Uh, I did it with the blow dryer with the soft protector, so you can see they're already used. Look at that guys. And you so I'm gonna show you the size right now, how I put it on there. So as you can see right here guys. On the thingy, uh, it worked, but it didn't get on there like perfectly, perfectly. It's still like kind of, kind of off. And if I want to, I can just like literally peel it off. And with the heat gun, what it does is it melts it to the shoe, and it stays on there for like forever. And nothing gets in there. Like as you can see, there's residue inside the shoe from the silver type and stuff. Cause I did it with a blow dryer, and it didn't put it in there right. Look at it over here. You can see the detail. There's like more. More of it right here. It's got a lot of dust inside of there. It's really dusty now. Really, really dusty. Look at that. Turn it over for you. See how it's like peeling off already. I already had these for a while. See dust right here. That's a good thing about this camera. Well, this is really good. Look at that. And right now guys, I'm gonna show you how to put it on with the heat gun. And then afterwards, I'm showing you the other comparison how the heat gun puts it on to show you the difference. All right guys, let's do it. Okay guys, you can see I got my fives right here, reverse grip fives. And I got the heat gun right here, which is 120 watts. And it's only $20 at Menards, really cheap. Wagoner, look at that. Super cool. Okay guys, so I got also protectors right here. Got one of them right here. You know, I'm one of the shoes, so it'll be easier for me. But it's already off a little bit, so now I'm gonna peel it off all the way. Okay, I think this one goes on this one, hopefully. If not, then I'll switch the shoe. Yeah, switch the shoes on this one. It's this one right here, perfect. So now what will we do, Sentry? Make it look nice. There we go, I think that's good. Move a little bit. There we go, oh, that's way better. All right guys, so next step, turn on your heat gun. And from a distance, start going a little by little. Distance, go to the top first. Cause if you do it way too close, it's gonna melt right onto this shoe. So that's what you kind of want, but you don't want to melt way too much to the point where like, you know, it actually looks like it melted. A few seconds in every area, and then gently. And you start tapping it in a little bit. I'm gonna put that in there. Okay, that's it. Because it's gonna be real hot. Yep. I was getting on there nice and straight, like a big shirt and just slapping it on there. Uh, 
turn it off a bit and I'll just start patting it on because now I look really hot. There you go, that's all we need. Dang, we got them really nice. And it took a few seconds. I'll put it like in the middle, there you go. Final details. How long did that take me? That took me just like three minutes, not gonna lie, or less. And now I'm sure the comparison from my Yeezy and the Story 5 alternative is great. Look at how it gets hot. Look at that. The heat. How it turns red. That's how you know that's hot. Burning. Perfect. Now as you can see, look at that. Look how good it melted onto there. Look at that. It doesn't even look like it's on there, bro. But you can see it. Look at that. With the black, you can see there's a soap texture on there. Look at how good it went on there. Not even gonna lie. Look at that. You can barely see it. Here's a shoe, by the way. I kind of tweaked it out a bit, made it look kind of fresh. Now I'll show you the other shoe. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you the comparison. As you can see, I already showed it the easy. I'm going to show you now the great. You can hop down in it perfectly. There's a bunch of black part here. Look at that. Look at it just, just not look wrinkly, nothing. Something nice and flat. You can see it with the black part. Look at that. See that? Yeah. Nice and smooth. Let's look at the easy again. Rugged a bit. If I used the heat gun, I'm pretty sure it'll have it nice and flat too. Got in the little bumps, and that's why it's rugged too, because it has the, the way that the shoe is designed. Over here, open a bit. Look at that. I was not if I was done, but now I know what to use. Next time, only straight heat gun. Okay guys, thanks for watching guys. I showed you guys how to put on your soap protectors with the heat gun. Uh, make sure to get the 120 watt one because if you get like a higher one, I'm pretty sure it's going to burn the soap protector and even probably the shoe. And the reason I put the towel is because it can still burn the table and it's made of marble so I can get messed up with heat. And what's it called? Uh, that's it for today's video guys. Make sure to follow me on my socials. I'll be here on the side. And go neutral family.